Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Cowboy Harp. I'm going to give this one a 4.25 out of 5. This has an excellent, very unique sound that's super difficult to find, so I'm just going to play it. Right, so this is a Western Jaw Harp, and that sound is super good for any kind of like Western Old Town theme. Even if you're going for like a wonky tonky, if that's even a, like a word or phrase type vibe or energy, I could see this being used as well in like a unique cartoon uh, scene if you're doing any kind of movie scoring or TV scoring or anything like that, or just making kind of like a unique, funky, interesting record. Now, what's cool about this, first off, is if I'm going to play one note and I keep tapping it, it almost has like a round robin type feel. So. So it almost has like a auto built like slight phaser. In addition, we have two jaw harps right here. So I'm going to do this. You hear nothing, of course. One, two. So to me, I'll be honest, it does seem like there is a, they're, they're, they're basically the same, to be honest. It doesn't seem like it's a situation where maybe one has a bit of a different texture than the other. And I think that what it allows you to do is change each one how you want. So if I go like here, if I want to do some panning stuff, right? If let's say I want to, you know, um, do some weird things here with like filtering, right? And then maybe put this one, right? Um, let's see if I can reset this. Oh, I'm just gonna go. So we might as well show you some presets, right? I also have delay and reverb and dimension. I probably wouldn't touch these if I had to be honest, uh, but they do exist. So these presets seem to be more of just a variation of the two different jaw harps you have, the delay, reverb, and dimension. Right. To be honest, I don't think I'd use these as much. They, they do sound pretty good, though. They sound like excellent quality, but I think just when it comes to production in general, I've mentioned this in pretty much every video when they have an effect like this. I'd rather use, like, the Ableton delay and go more in-depth if I wanted to, right? But if, like, so you don't have Ableton and you don't have access to a delay plugin, you can do this right here, or if you just want to do something quick. So, like always, I'd like to also make a song with this. Um, I don't know. This is one kind of plugin that I feel like I could hear a million uses. I could hear this in a Psytrance song. I could hear this in a techno song and like a house UK song even. Um, even like an experimental bass, like a res style song. Like I'll show you an example, especially the lower register is kind of cool. You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually close it out and bring it back up so I can kind of initialize it in a sense, which is kind of the raw, right? If I go to the lower register, that sounds really cool. Like... Like, that sounds like something I'd hear in, like, a res track. Um, like, that I actually might go with, just because I think that's super cool. And this was kind of, uh, this is a big pro to I give, like I said, for a lot of plugins, that the difference in register sometimes is not just, like, a different pitch by definition. It is, but it gives a whole different feel, right? Like, to me, this, for example, sounds almost a bit goofy. I don't mean that in a bad way, but just, like, sounds goofy, happy, upbeat, Wonky, tonky, funky, kind of odd. This sounds like glitchy, bass, experimental, you know, like 1788L, Blanky, um, I think is how you pronounce his name. Maybe even some Amon Tobin, Amon Tobin type, like, odd stuff. Um, all right, where are we right here? Like there? Almost sounds like a metallic growl. Like, this is, like, no, I think you actually want to go on the back beat. Um, see, this, maybe I'll put this at, like, 100. Almost sounds, like, very death pack.
right? Now, this is what could add in, um, I wonder if I have actually the right, like, drum loop I'm picturing in my head. Uh, I feel like probably the mid-tempo. Are there any just, like, loops? Oh, loops right here. Like, something like this, right? Like... Ooh, that, like, that alone actually sounds super sick. Uh, it seems like too much width. Wait. Let me try some of these presets. No, I think this one I kind of... The dimensions... I feel like I want to maybe affect the stereo with... Like, that's super wide. Like, that's aggressively wide. I wonder if I can even make that wider. Right? Turn this off. Maybe add something like, like this would be cool, like, yeah, like very mid-tempo. And then this is where we go, like, um, maybe something like this. Um, I think something like that actually would sound better. Um, this is where I probably then take this, crop, like, yeah. What, I also have this, wait, let me, sometimes I like to mash the drum fills, so we have this. We have that, like, da-da-da, right there. I might go, um, uh, which is on two. Yep. I usually don't produce, by the way, with the trackpad. I know some people love it. I don't get it. Um, something like this. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds... Oh, no. Um, no, no. Yeah. I still think I like. I might like this better, which is the same note. But this actually sounds a core variation. Also, this needs a lot of work, and especially, I think this needs to be, like, a crash there to, like, um, where's symbols? I like that one. Um... And that's why we wanted to add in then, like, maybe a low-key, uh, like, hat loop. I don't, whoa, I don't know if that's going to work, but. Uh, a little too busy. I think I, I probably, I don't like all that mid-range in this. Yeah, it's so much better. And then, I wonder if I'd want to add anything else. I know they have some, like, vocal like, this is the perfect pack for this, by the way. The mid-tempo volume two. Um, back on sound. Um, it's weird. So, let me say put loops as their own thing, then put, put loops and other stuff. Where are the vocal loops? I thought I had some vocal loops. This is typically how we do these uh, videos, too. I always like to add in vocal stuff after. This is something about the human aspect. No. Is there no vocal loops here? I swear there was. 
Uh, maybe not. Or effects? Okay, maybe not. I'll just go to Quest for Base. It's the most recent one they've done. Um, What's a non is what? From the bottom to the top. Back in paper, rise and payment to the diamond spot. Staying on that ground. Chasing dreams and making money talks with fluent. And living life back in them. Stacking chips and making flips. Hey. Okay. Let's get it. Mm. None of those work. Um, I want like a vocal, yeah. Like, no, definitely not. Something like this. Lose it when the beat. Everybody in the everybody in the club. Something like this. Where, where Pete. Get up. Turn it. Turn up the bass. Get my money when the bass. Let's get the bass knocking. Mmm. Okay, so like that would actually be cool. I'd have to mess around this for a while, but I feel like something. Let's get the bass. Like uh, I'd have to quantize. Let's get the bass. Drop the heat on. Mm. Can this be like? No, it's not warping it. It's annoying. I'm gonna drop that fire. I have to do this like manually, which will take a little bit. No. I'm gonna drop that fire on him. I'm gonna drop that fire on him. I'm gonna drop that fire on him. Drop. What the fuck? Huh? Nobody can give me light. Nobody can give me light. Mm. I don't know if I'm gonna. If this is worth it, but like, I'll just do this quick, I guess. Nobody. I'll just do this real fast. Uh, I'd probably make it sound good. Actually, that sounds kind of cool. I was actually going to throw in a spectral resonator on that. Actually, it sounds kind of good. It sounds a little bit like a percussive element, actually, so that kind of works... And then I'd probably add on this, um, no. Okay, mm, see how that sounds. Ooh, that's kind of cool. 